Should doctors refuse patients with endocrine diseases, or we can inject filler to some of them? Let's consider first the thyroid diseases. Currently, there is a steady growth of thyroid diseases, mainly due to adverse environmental conditions and lack of iodine. In particular, the incidence of symptomatic hypothyroidism is 1 to 2 percent in populations. Subclinical hypothyroidism is diagnosed in 6 to 8 percent of women and 3 percent of men. Clinical and subclinical thyrotoxicosis are less common than subclinical hypothyroidism, about 1 to 3 percent in general populations. Hypothyroidism is a clinical syndrome caused by persistent decrease of thyroid hormones action on target tissues. Laboratory signs of disease are increasing thyroid stimulation hormone and decreasing of thyroid hormones level. Uh, in the case of autoimmune thyroiditis, there are elevated antibody titers against thyroid antigens. Elevated prolactin level is very often in prolonged and untreated hypothyroidism. Symptoms and signs of skin lesions are very often among hypothyroid patients. The most common of them is dry and flaky skin, diffuse alopecia, and generalized myxedema. Myxedema develops into a skin due to um, uh, acid glucosamine glycan deposition. The skin becomes puffy, pale, Edematous. Change are particularly expressed on the face and eyelids. Patient with untreated hypothyroidism often has typical signs like puffy and uh, face, poor mimic, pale and dry skin, dull and thin hair. In such patients, the appointment of adequate replacement therapy with L thyroxine leads to significant improvements in the aesthetic appearance of the face and body. What are the special features of the post-procedure period can be observed in patients with hypothyroidism after administration of hyaluronic acid filler? Due to the metabolic disorders of hyaluronic acid, decrease of hyaluronidase activity and immune suppression in these patients will be long swelling of the face, contouring of the gel, as well as slow degradation of filler, which can be found in the injection site even two years after injection. These patients are characterized by prolongation of the rehabilitation period and poor healing. The standard anti edematous treatment is ineffective. This slide shows a clinical case of patient with a long history of hypothyroidism who for many years received replacement therapy with tyroxine. After upper street lifting and filler injections to the nasolabial faults in a volume of 1 ml, the patient developed widespread swelling of the face, which persisted more than a month. Lymphatic drainage with creolift irritative current therapy gave only slight and temporal, despite having the disease, feel sem uh, themselves as a healthy people. Others may not even know that they have had a disease. Finally, some patients may obscure their di diagnosis because of fear that the doctor refuses them to make uh, filler Patients with a small duration of disease, good compensation and no complications can do filler injection. But please remember about more careful control in the post-procedure period. It is desirable to use pre-medication course of anti angiogenic and neurotrophic agents uh, like lipoic acid, maybe anti-aggregants. After injection of filler, can recommend a short course of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs for two or three days, sometimes prophylactic antibiotic. So, patients with endocrine diseases certainly are at risk for adverse events and complications in response of filler injections. However, these manifestations of the endocrine disease, their severity varies widely. Therefore, a careful analysis of the patient's status should be performed taking into account all the risk factors in each patient it makes injection of filler possible. Thank you for attention.